Hi, ADHD friends. Ready to become gutsy cooks? Let's start now. Today, I'm going to show you how to make chili. It's a high-protein meal all made in one pot. This takes about 10 minutes of preparation and makes eight servings. Gather equipment and ingredients. The equipment you're going to need is a large heavy bottom skillet, a cutting board, a chef's knife, a liquid measuring cup, a can opener, a mixing spoon, two tablespoons of light olive oil, one half cup of chopped onion, and then you're gonna need one pound of lean ground beef or turkey, or you can even use one bag of morning star crumbles. One pack of French's Chilio Seasoning Original, and one half cup of water, two cans of dark red kidney beans, one can of tomato paste, and one can of water. Finally, you're gonna need one tablespoon of salt. Get ready, we're gonna prepare the ingredients. Place the skillet on the stove and turn the stove setting to medium high heat, which is about seven to eight. Then add the olive oil. Next, chop the onion into small squares. So it can be a rough chop, but you want the pieces of onion relatively small. Then you're gonna go ahead and open the cans of kidney beans and tomato paste. Because this recipe is a one pot meal, combine and heat these steps are also combined. Make sure you get ready thoroughly for this. Add the chopped onion and cook for three to five minutes until the onions are soft. They'll start to look a little clear. Then you're gonna add the meat and stir it regularly to break up the meat, cooking until it's brown. If you're using vegetarian crumbles, cook until it's heated through. Then you're gonna sprinkle your chili o or whatever your favorite chili seasoning is all around the meat, all over the meat, and add a half a cup of water and stir thoroughly. Add and add two cans of beans, including the liquid, the one can of tomato paste, and one can of water. It will take a little doing, but you're gonna need to go ahead and mix this up till everything is thoroughly combined. Lastly, add your one tablespoon of salt and give it another good stir. Bring the chili to a boil, then turn down the heat to low, which is the low to two setting, and simmer it for 20 minutes. Simmering means when those bubbles are just breaking the surface gently. Stir every five minutes until finished simmering and the chili has thickened. Technically, you can eat this right after you bring it to a boil, but simmering allows all of the flavors of the seasonings and the vegetables and so forth all marry together so that the flavor is uniform throughout. Finish and serve. Serve in soup bowls with crackers or shredded cheese. Extra fancy. You can garnish these bowls with shredded cheese, chopped onion, sour cream, I usually let everybody put on their own toppings. Careful. Be careful when buying. We recently, I did not see the little label on Amazon saying that this was Texas style. Now, Texas style, you would think it's really hot. It's not hot, but it has different flavors than what we're used to, and I don't like it. So, once again, eat what you like, and... If you have a particular seasoning you like, use that. It may take some trial and error. If you like this recipe, please subscribe. Thank you for your time and attention. Now go get gutsy.